have recently discovered that I have a new style. Now this is coming from someone who already thought she had all of her styles nailed down. So this has come as a complete late surprise to me. So in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can discover your own style. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Karen Campbell and I teach drawing and mixed media tutorials here on YouTube and also at awesomeartschool.com. So first of all, I just wanna address the fact that you don't really find your style because you are you haven't necessarily lost it in the first place. Style is something more or less that you develop over time. So. The first thing I recommend if you're starting out as a new artist and you're trying to discover your style um, is that you need to seek some really kick-ass inspiration. Um, the inspiration for my new style that I've just recently developed is um, was primarily, and you can see the book right there, primarily influenced by artist Esther Gilly. She is a watercolor artist and she uses watercolor and pencil. And watercolor is not my go-to medium. I use kind of everything under the sun, but mainly watercolors is not what I primarily base my paintings and my drawings on. So um, the first thing that I needed to do was find some inspiration that really resonated with me. When I look at her art, I say, I want to be her, but also mostly I want to glean from her the cool things that she's doing. So it's not the same as copying, it's, but it is the same as influencing. And so you're looking at the aspects that you are falling in love with and choosing those, and then you're disregarding the rest. And then the rest is sort of up to skill and material. So the second way that you can discover your style that I wanted to talk about is by trying out different materials. So if you're only ever using graphite, you are not pushing yourself to see how other things work. And it just so happens that a lot of the times in art, when you stop and take the time to experiment, play, learn about a new art supply, you're actually opening your world up to like a whole another realm of possibility that you didn't even know existed before. So I strongly advise you if you are starting out to do not ever limit yourself to your supplies. So if you're like me and you primarily are a mixed media artist and you're, work you're working with acrylics, watercolors for me is um, outside the norm. It's outside my forte. I do teach it and I understand it, but it's not my go-to and I certainly don't base my paintings off of it. So taking six months and really mastering it and um, playing around with it and giving it a chance to prove itself is like hugely important. So I don't mean try out a new material, like try it for like a minute or a week and then move on to something else. Uh, move on to something else. I mean, really, truly try it out. See what you can do. Dive into some projects. And that leads me to uh, the third most important way, and I do think that this is the most important way of discovering your style or developing a new style if you're an established artist, is to never, ever, ever stop learning. So continue going onto YouTube and watching tutorials. Um, when I was prepping for my Scotland art retreat, and this is the projects that I was working on, um, and developing for my lesson. Um, I wasn't, I didn't know how to do crystals. I didn't know how to watercolor crystals. I wasn't strong with my watercolor faces. Um, I certainly never tried doing watercolor and ink before. So there was like a whole slew of skills that I needed to learn and practice and practice and practice and develop before this style kind of started emerging all on its own. So with the, the combination of number one, seeking real, true, exciting inspiration, um, go on Pinterest, go on Google, go for a walk outside. Maybe it's nature. Um, 
maybe it's a also look outside your genre if you're a watercolorist stop looking at watercolor references and start looking at digital art um, you can even a lot of times I even go to like cartoons and when I'm trying out a new style um, so really think outside the box um, go to an art museum look at the classics or the Renaissance artists um, you know, look at photography and see what starts resonating with you and just grab it and sit down and see where it takes you. And I think the discipline of just sitting down and trying new things is super huge. So seeking new inspiration, trying different materials, like I said, and never stop learning. Watch as many YouTube tutorials as you can. Enroll in programs like mine at awesomeartschool.com. I have drawing and mixed media classes for days, <laughs> days and days and days, and try an in-person class. If you haven't done a retreat before or an in-person workshop, there's nothing to get your creative juices flowing better than going into an in-person lesson. I think the combination of those three things, honestly, you will be fine and you will, before you know it, be discovering your own style as well. If you have any suggestions um, for any other people that I have not listed, please leave them in the comment section below. And hopefully with the combination of your comments and thoughts in my comments and thoughts, we can help each other out, um, discover our own styles. And if you are interested in learning how to draw realistically, that will give you like a nice foundation for launching off into different styles and trying out the different styles. You can check out my brand new book, which is called Karen Campbell's Guide to, official guide, thank you, to helping you find your style, which is all about what I'm talking about today. So, thanks for watching. Here's a playlist of some drawing tips that I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you again next Friday.